<clears throat> Could recruit number 41,230 please enter the building. Please pick up a hazard suit on the way. This door requires both a hazard suit and a key. It's controlled by the commands in the manager down on the floor. Mind that misplaced hole ahead. This is a really simple setup. The cables connect the chest and the barrels to the manager. The trigger command activates the system and moves anything in the chest to one of the barrels. This system will process any ores put into the left chest and put the finished ingots into the right one. The manager even moves the water from the pump to the ore washing plant. I know a shortcut. Let's go. A redstone receiver is connected to this system. The turtle triggers the manager listening for a redstone signal. An inventory relay is then used to interact with the moving turtle. It also lets the system interact with the moving cart. Item valves can be used to both drop items and interact with dropped items in the world. The item condition allows the system to wait for six fertilizers before picking them all up. A redstone emitter can be configured to output redstone signals. This system gradually increases the strength of the outputted signal to achieve the desired effect. This is getting trippy. Advanced inventory relays can interact with players too. In this security station, they are used to make sure that the player has a hazard suit. Redstone emitters are used to both open the doors and turn on the green or the red lamp. A system can easily get fairly big. By naming the commands and by using variables, it gets easier to organize. The blinking warning lamps are all stored into one variable. This system is used to create uranium fuel rods from the empty fuel rods at uranium. It uses both the canning machine and the internal crafting commands to achieve this. The units of uranium-238 are retrieved from the storage room. Block gates are used to pick up the blocks that are then crafted into the uranium units. Block gates can also be used to place blocks. By using the random retrieval setting of variables, together with some barrels and emitters, this system makes the block gates place random lamps. The manager uses the block detector to detect when the cake is missing. It then uses the creative supplier and the block gate to spawn a new one. In this case, it looks for an open door, and when it finds one, it triggers the two emitters. As we've previously seen, 
the manager can interact with fluids as well. Here it is being used to turn fruit juice into biomass, which is then turned into ethanol. The fluids are then put into the tanks in the corner. The other manager then updates the lamps to reflect how full the different tanks are. Even though the individual components are quite basic, they can be combined into complex builds. This is a cart request system. The carts can be requested to four different locations. When the carts return, the contents are emptied and sent back to the dispenser. The amount of carts currently not in use is tracked by the lamps. I don't trust those stairs. This system is built with camouflage blocks to be able to modify its appearance. The blocks have also been put into cluster blocks to allow them to connect properly. The cluster blocks may contain any number of cable blocks, such as the camouflage blocks and the redstone receivers used for the pressure points. The advanced cluster block even works as a cable. They seem to be missing a player. Maybe you should join. We've already seen a complex system with all the cards. It was however limited by the space for the commands. One can however use groups to put commands in. One can also put groups into said groups to fit even more commands. This build is a fully functional game, all controlled by one manager with over 600 commands. It uses redstone receivers, advanced inventory relays, block blocks, camouflage blocks, redstone emitters, cluster blocks and item valves to handle the logic.
Don't worry about your friends. They were never real to begin with. Oh, well, hello, Recruit41230. Your name is Steve, isn't it? Now when you've seen the craziness of this factory, would you like to become its manager? Do you think you have what it takes? <sighs> Could recruit number 41,231 please enter the building? Thank you.